correcting forward head posture. This posture where the head comes too far forward. It's more than just trying to improve the way that you look. It has a lot of implications for helping things such as TMJ, mid back pain. Shoot, there's even been studies done that show that if you incorporate fixing or changing that head posture, in addition to other rehab efforts, it will even help with uh, minimizing low back pain. Uh, so there are a lot of reasons why we should correct this, but how do we correct it? Well, that's what I wanna go over with you in this video. So in other videos, I have talked about the muscular imbalances involved with this forward head posture. And one of the main muscles that we said is weak are the deep neck flexors. What does that mean? That is the deep muscles on the front of the spine. Here's where your throat would be. They are these muscles right here. And one of the best ways to engage those muscles is to bring our head back and then tuck our chin. That's what those muscles do. They do that chin tuck when our head's back because a lot of people who have this posture here, I say bring your ears back over your shoulders and they do this. Okay, now tuck your chin. And that is the way that you want to activate those. Now, a lot of people will say, I don't wanna do that exercise because it gives me a double chin. You do not have to live in this posture. Matter of fact, when you do this, that is an extreme version of what's called neck retraction. That there heavily engages those muscles. However, that's not necessarily where you're supposed to live. You could do this and then you back off about 20 or 30%. And that's where you're supposed to live. Now, some ways that you can even get more activation out of those muscles is once you're in that posture to apply some resistance, maybe on your forehead, maybe underneath your chin. And I'm gonna show you both ways that you can do this. You bring that neck back and you would press your hands, your fingertips into your head as if you're trying to lift your chin up, do this here, but you resist it. You keep that chin tucked. So over exaggerate, press your hands against your, your uh, forehead here, and then you resist really keeping that chin tucked. That's the most important thing. If you're here, you're not really doing yourself any favors. Chin tucked, resist. You could hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds at a time and maybe do between three and five sets of those. Option number two, you could make a fist or use your thumbs, but do something where you're pressing up. Now with this one here, of course, make sure your tongue is not in between your teeth. Um, the idea position for the jaw at rest is lips together, but teeth slightly apart. And that's what I would recommend if you do this exercise here. So same thing, we bring that head back, tuck that chin. Now I'm gonna press upward into my jaw. And same thing, you're gonna get those deep neck muscles. And again, hold for about 10 to 15 seconds and do about three to five sets of those that will really help with this head posture here. Now, of course, there are other manual therapy techniques. As a chiropractor, I do some spinal manipulations and I've got a few other stretches that I like to do, but that's a really good exercise that you could do at home and like anything else, it's really the consistency. Doing this exercise uh, right now, watching this video and then never doing it again, that's not going to help you. You take this with you and do this exercise several times per day and over the course of about six weeks, you'll notice a drastic improvement in your neck posture. If you got something useful out of this video, give us the thumbs up, maybe even like our page. Uh, and then of course, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'd love to answer the questions.